Hey guys and welcome back on my channel. Today I have a really interesting and useful fashion video I might say. I will talk to you all about the January sales. These sales are my favorite sales of the year. I like them more even than the Black Friday or the Cyber Monday or what else is left. Boxing Day maybe? For obvious reasons you can definitely feel the reduction of the prices in stores and online. But if you really know what you want this is the best period to buy what you've got on your wish list throughout the last year. But these sales can get really dangerous for your pocket if you don't follow some obvious rules. I know it's a big temptation but you are just impulse buying things. That's why today I will share with you some of my experience as a shopper and what I've learned after doing the January sales the wrong way the last years. So I'm gonna talk to you about what you should consider when buying in January sales, how to invest in smart clothing and how to keep under control your clothing sales purchases. First off I would say try to save some money in advance for the sales period. Don't buy everything on Christmas and buy only what's absolutely necessary because exactly after the Christmas period all the prices will go down so it can get really frustrating. On the other hand, try not to wait for too long for a certain product because for example when it's in sales it might be too late for it, uh, especially if you wear the most common sizes. So if you wear like for example the size 8, 10 ish UK for clothing and 4 or 5 for shoes. It may be really hard for you to find these sizes in sales because these are the first sizes that are gone. That's why I recommend you to be there exactly when the price drops. And when I say to be there, I don't mean that I recommend you to go and sleep in front of the store, of course, we are in 2020, thanks God. You just have to think smart and to be one of the first ones that is buying that certain piece in sales. I have a secret weapon. <laughs> what I'm saying, you have to be virtually there. So my secret is to do a lot of lists in advance, but not the regular type of wish list. It will be a wish list that lets you know all about the price tags, when the sales are starting, when the store is restocking some sizes on a certain model that wasn't available anymore. A wish list that simply helps you to be more organized and helps you to see everything in a mix and match way. So this wish list is basically an app, it's an extension of your browser, it's called ShopTagger, it's like a smart virtual assistant. By the way, this is not sponsored, this is just me sharing this app with you because I absolutely love it, I find it really useful and I'm sure you will love it as well so I thought I will just share it here with you. Usually when I'm browsing on the internet and I see something I like and I want to buy, I am just adding that certain item on my wish list. I'm using categories. I can compare one item with other items I already added, so I will know when I have something similar and it's not necessary to be bought. With this app, I actually never miss the price drop because a shop tagger will notify me when there's a better price on the item. This app is also offering you coupon codes. So this is how I can handle my impulse buying. I can organize a budget and everything goes smooth. In 2020 I'm trying to be more conscious about what I'm purchasing and honestly this extension is a lifesaver for me and a money saver, really important. With this being said I would say that online shopping is much much easier and less stressful than the shopping in store especially when the sales are going on. It can be really frustrating when all the shops are rammed and the clothes are strewn all over the place. When I'm shopping in stores in the sales period usually I can't find really easy my size because it's the most common size and everyone is trying it. I tend to impulse buying in store and more than that there's a big chance to buy a faulty item because I always feel like I'm losing a really good deal. On the other hand, when I'm shopping from the comfort of my home, everything is more balanced. I can enjoy a coffee while scrolling or browsing and it's just a really really relaxing activity for me. Honestly, I prefer online shopping anytime more than I prefer the physical shopping because I feel like I'm not wasting too much time of my life and I can get many better deals online. When it comes to what you should buy in the January sales, I would say this is the best time to invest in designer pieces or timeless premium pieces. Most of the time I'm trying to look to the permanent collections because even if the sales are not really good, those are for sure timeless pieces. 
If not, I'm trying to look for simple or classic models that I know I will wear for a long time from now on. For example, in January, I've bought an Alexander McQueen pair of trainers and I feel like it's a good investment because these shoes are pretty classic. It's not the latest collection, but they do have a special touch. Alexander McQueen is doing a really special pair of shoes usually, but I feel like the ones that are really trendy right now are not going to pass the test of the time so these are pretty classic and I know they are going to resist in my personal preferences another really good designer deal is this bag from All Saints that I absolutely love it's a simple black bag but I feel like I can wear it every single day and for me these are the best purchases the things that you can wear and wear and wear <laughs> So the designer pieces are the first thing I am following when the prices are dropping down at the beginning of the month because with these items you will save a lot more than you would save with any high street sale. If you want to be sure you have the best designer deal, a good tip would be to go and visit the outlets this period of time as well. For example, I do recommend you Bister Village for anyone living in London or for anyone visiting London. Here the designer items are cheaper anyway, but they do have sales as well. So you will get to buy the designer pieces at a much lower price than you would buy it from anywhere else. All the bags I have here in the bag are from Bister Village and I feel like this trip was really successful. So I have decided to do this trip an annual thing because I feel like the January in Bister Village is a really really good deal for anything clothing wise. I want to get rid of the January blues and the weekend getaway at the Bister Village is just the perfect idea for January. My tip number four is to try to invest only in the fashion essentials. Go and buy neutrals, blacks, whites, no matter where you're buying from, when it comes to basics, you have to choose the ones that are timeless. If you're buying t-shirts or tops, I would suggest you to try to buy the plain ones, because those are really easy to wear, are not popping in. So try to avoid the really strong colors as if it's in sale, it's there for a reason. The color is not gonna be trendy anymore for the next season. So I'm sure you don't wanna be stuck with something that you will not wear. <laughs> okay, and here comes the point number five where I'm talking to you about the trends. This is a big no and the golden rule of sales shopping. Don't buy anything that was a major trend the last year because the source for sure will try to push those certain items that were really trendy most likely those items are not gonna be trendy anymore for example if you finally found a piece that you've been dreaming about the last year and now with like 90% off just leave it the best decision for you to make is just to step away and to look for something else that's in sale I got to this conclusion after so many years of buying trendy things that I thought are a good deal because they are in sales and it took me a while to finally realize that the best thing to do is to stick to your list buy exactly what's necessary for you and what's missing from your wardrobe honestly I'm not gonna be tempted anymore to buy a certain thing only for the price sake and I thought totally recommend you to start having this mindset as well because on the long term you will be really grateful for trying it. You will only end up cluttering your room anyway really soon. Last years I've been there, I've done that and I can definitely say that I ended up selling or donating most of my purchases I made but now I can proudly say that I've been more aware about how I'm spending my money and I bought only what I'm sure I will keep and wear throughout the entire year that is coming. I know it might be hard and tempting but believe me you can do it. I will repeat myself maybe but for number six is to try to buy classic pieces that are perfectly matching your style. If you already have a really well-defined style that's very well but if you are still experimenting there are big chances for you to try to follow the trends. If you are trying to follow the trends at least I would suggest you to try and do your research, try to see what's gonna be in for the next season and try to <laughs> find some sales that are accordingly with what you found. For example for 2020 the color of the year will be blue so any shade of blue can be a really good investment even 
many fits in sales right now. I would suggest you again to try to look for coats, suits, shoes because with these things the trends are not really harsh and these pieces are usually more expensive at the full price so the sales are the perfect moment to try to invest in any of these for example I bought a simple green military coat and an elegant black suit both from River Island because I found them at a really good price both are pretty classic and really easy to wear and I feel like these are a good investment for the next year and the next year and so on also, I do have a combo style boot that is from the previous winter from Aldo and I got to use it like daily for this year because I was good at speculating things and I realized that those type of boots will be trendy this year so yay for me so if you are buying more winter clothing now try and think about what would you like to wear in the next year as well if that is possible of course another big yes when it comes to sales is to try and buy sporty pieces active wear or sportswear never goes totally out of style so you can basically buy anything in this section especially if you're planning to start going to the gym like most of us when the new year is starting everyone's goal is to start going at the gym so yeah if you're thinking to start exercising now at the beginning of the 2020 for sure it's a good idea to buy some new active wear pieces a nice new active wear piece can motivate you to go at the gym only because you know it's a new thing that looks good on you maybe and the good part is that leggings are just leggings they never go out of style the sports brand only have different cool collections that are trending for the moment but the idea is the same you will keep wearing those leggings for a long time for sure so you can definitely try and invest in this period of time in more sportswear so if you will ever see some nice trainers leggings tracksuits you can definitely spend your money on those final reductions because for sure you will get the use for wear on those particular items I can guarantee you especially if you're going at the gym <laughs> in my case I never regretted buying any sportswear and that's why I have decided to invest in these two pairs of Puma trainers for my day-to-day -day life and for the gym as well also I found this new cap from Tommy Hilfiger that I really loved and an Adidas bag at a half of the price which looks really nice and is good for the festival season for example and now my favorite type of investment when it comes to sales is the makeup and the skincare if you know you have like a certain skin routine I think now is the best time to buy more of your favorite makeup and skincare products because this way you will never run out and this one is the best time to try some new products if you always wanted to try them every drugstore and every makeup website has special offers price drops reductions for the christmas stock so christmas boxes for example are now really really cheap and always a good deal and you can get the same quality of the products at a really good price i was telling you in my christmas gift guide all about that estelo de box full of goodies that is kind of my annual purchase all my essentials are in there and the price is really really good so yeah it's a really nice deal that i wouldn't want to miss if you want to see what else contains that box from estelo de i will link here somewhere the gift guide that i posted on my channel and there i'm talking more about that box more than that in this period of time i also bought my hair essentials and I will also link another video where I'm showing you what exactly am I using for my hair. More than that, I'm planning to buy them once again now at the end of the January sale. So I will have plenty of products for the following months for sure. So I know I will have my favorite products nearby anytime. And another section that I really, really like to visit this period of time especially 
is the home section of some of the high street stores like Zara, H&M. They always offer in this period of time really nice deals for home accessories and I always enjoy buying some new cozy things for my house. Now is the best time to invest in some sort of household gadgets if you know you need anything. For example, my coffee machine was broken and I just bought a new one and today we are going for a vacuum cleaner shopping if this does make any sense for this channel. But that's the only truth we are going to take advantage of the sales for for a vacuum cleaner as well so yeah you might want to check out the end of the january deals because you might be surprised about the good prices you will find so these are all the tips that are coming in my mind when it comes to what you should consider when buying in january sales i hope this was helpful for you and i hope you will know better how to invest smart in your clothing pieces and how to keep under control the clothing sales purchases because I know it might be hard. This is how much I was able to learn so far while shopping in sales but if you have any other tips or any other ideas for me everything is welcome you can just leave them in the comment section of this video and I would love to chat to you more about your personal experience. But if you are speaking about chatting, let's see who is the comment winner of the previous video. Ta -da! Also, here is the Instagram account that I would recommend you to follow. Let me take my phone. So the Instagram account that I'm recommending today is Kira's account, classic and elegant. Many of the pieces she's wearing are so timeless and really, really nice. If you need some January sales inspo for the designer outfits, you can go and follow Kira because I'm sure you will get a lot of inspo. Personally, I've always admired her style and I think she really looks really nice put together all the time. If you think that your style can be a good example for this section of my video, all you have to do is to tag me in your post on Instagram and to use the hashtag PoppinisChristina in the description of your photo. And this way I will get to see your account. Okay, this was it. Until the next week, I will see you in the comments. Bye guys!